Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Aviation. Here we discuss about the short, simple topic about the aviation fields. Today's topic of discussion is FedEx, as you can see on the screen. So, FedEx is a full authority digital engine control, which controls all the aspects of the engine performance. That means. Uh, FedEx ensures how much amount of fuel should go inside the engine uh, at at different load at different environment ambient condition so how does it work so let's say I'll draw a black box I'll write this is a FedEx so it it takes density of the air it receives the engine temperature <coughs> it receives the temperature uh, pressure engine pressure uh, what is the pressure of the of the air which is going inside it 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 in, it checks the position of the throttle lever i'll write lever throttle lever in case of helicopters i'll write uh, position of uh, collective okay what is collective cyclic you have to read a bit about to understand about this part or i'll cover it in some other video so it it ensures all the important parameters it check it receive them and the computation happens inside it's a electronic circuitry uh, rate bit rates are very high around 70 times per second the computation is happening and post computation of all these parameters it, it receives them it computes and then it ensure it check the fuel flow it check the position of stator valve Okay, stator valves are fitted inside the engine uh, in the compressor and the turbine stages which uh, regulates or which directs the flow of uh, air uh, through them. Uh, it ensures the position of bleed valve and few more. These are the important ones. So FedEx, what it is, what is happening here? It, it receives the signal from various sensors and uh, according to the load that means the liver of the helicopter uh, depending on the density of the air which is outside depending upon the temperature and pressure of the engine and the, uh, of the air which is going inside it computes them and accordingly it ensures how much flow should go inside what is the what should be the position of stator valve what is the position of bleed valve so after so if if fedex check all these parameters corresponding to these input values it optimize the engine performance i mean that's how it optimize the performance of the engine a uh, little bit inside like engine has an operating limit so engine has to operate if if the fuel flow is too much or if it is uh, less than required uh, then engine can go in surge if if fuel is uh, not regulated properly the efficiency of engine will be will go down so it has to operate in a particular region only to give the best efficiency so so this is the major role of a fedex of an of of any engine uh, few uh, one disadvantage or one peculiarity of this uh, system is that it has no uh, manual override that means pilot has no uh, control over the amount of fuel flow should go inside like in a case of crisis if he has to if he's flying a helicopter if some issues happen he need more thrust he'll raise his collective stick up but the amount of fuel which is going inside the engine will be regulated by fedex so there is no manual override complete system or complete the thrust of the engine efficiency of the engine will be decided by the fedex and not by the pilot so this is one drawback i'll i'll i'll, I'll go through the next page actually i have already written down uh, the various uh, uh, various advantages and disadvantages of of the fedex system uh, i'll discuss one by one so i'll bring out more uh, relevant point of the fedex system i'll just write fedex here Okay, so first one is better fuel efficiency. We have already discussed, uh, as in uh, it it takes so many parameters, it computes them, and accordingly it regulates the fuel flow and other important uh, aspects. That's how the efficiency will go to the optimum or the best best maxim, uh, best efficient uh, fuel flow will go, and that's how the efficiency uh, improves. Second is engine protection against tolerance operations against out of tolerance operation so I'll, I'll, I'll explain this point uh, 
let's say let's say one engine uh, is uh, operating and at uh, the gas generated uh, rpm is 100% that that at at which uh, engine should operate and uh, then there are interlocks which are fitted like if the gas generator is uh, rpm is going beyond 10 let's say 8% if it is going beyond 108% engine should shut down so these kind of programs are are already implied into the into the fedec uh, so if engine is going above 108% uh, the in, uh, the fedec will shut down fedec i'll just write fedec will fedec will this is a very important point <coughs> shut down the engine Or rather if if we say there are two engines so it'll it'll shut down the engine one but uh, fedec also ensures like if if the uh, rpm of the gas generator is raised is already raised in first engine this uh, condition should not be applicable in the engine 2 so the same condition is not applicable well for engine 2 so that's how you can you can uh, you can do the programming and you can utilize this fedec uh, for for better uh, op operations like uh, engine protection against out of tolerance operations so uh, if both the engines are going above uh, 108% ideally both the engine should shut down but if fedec system is there that's a brain of the brain of the engine and uh, that will ensure that if one engine is uh, shutting down because of over speed the other engine should not uh, shut down okay redundancy is there so as as we are um, you know, going heavily or we are heavily relying on the automation uh, there are chances like if this kind of systems fail as i have told there is no manual override so uh, failure of fedec uh, will leads to the failure of engine so that means the redundancy should be there so definitely in all the systems on all the modern aircraft if fedex system is there they are always there in two channels or two fedex are there with a cross talk feature that means each fedex is no uh, will know what is happening uh, with both the engines however if one fedex fails the other fedex take over okay easily engine handling that means uh, now crew doesn't have to ensure uh, the thrust value temperature pressure because he is know that there is a electronic control unit uh, which is controlling the engine's parameter so he has to fly the aircraft and uh, without um, checking about all these parameters uh, which are not required single engine can be utilized for wide thrust requirement i have given this example um, this is a very beautiful example for this point single engine can be utilized for the wide thrust requirement number of parameters monitored by air crew has been reduced so this ac engine handling covers this point and engine long term health and monitoring so as in there is a fedex system which is already monitoring monitoring so many parameters uh, density temperature pressure lever throt uh, throttle lever position uh, l not so uh, since it is me already measuring so many parameters so there is a there is a part of it which actually records all these parameter so in case of any incident any accident happening uh, fedec can be utilized to recheck uh, what all parameters were there and how um, um, how the aircraft behaved or the engine behaved in case of any crisis or any accident if anything uh, wrong had happened so engine long term health uh, as i can say hums that is health and uh, usage monitoring system so with the help of fedec hums uh, also comes into picture now coming to the disadvantage part which is actually very important to discuss that there is no form of manual override as i have already discussed if uh, if fedec fails both the engine fails and uh, there is no manual control over it so if it is a helicopter and it is at a decent height it has to auto rotate if it is a fixed wing then it has to glide so that is the only option left and uh, just to overcome that uh, there is always be two fedec so failure of one fedec will call for an emergency landing uh, as soon as possible um, because this is now a very critical part in the aircraft uh, as i have told total fedec failure leads to engine failure i have already discussed high system complexity um, as we are heavily relying on the automation so this system are very complex and uh, when a small defect requires a uh, uh, qualified person to look into it 
and can't be uh, rectified at a unit uh, at a at a basic level and uh, this point is very important i have actually intentionally put this point in case in crisis uh, rather it's not a disad uh, yeah it's a disadvantage that in a crisis like uh, as i've told uh, that aircraft require more power helicopter require more power pilot has to lift the collective so a non fedex engine provide more thrust than the rated so uh, during those time the fedex non fedex engine will give provide a better thrust uh, as compared to the fedex engine because in the fedex engine it will always operate within the limit which is already programmed um, in the fedex so this is a uh, disadvantages of a non of a fedex engine <laughs> rather it's a positive point for a non fedex engine um, putting a fedex reduces a droop in the helicopter if you are aware about the droop that uh, uh, a helicopter a helicopter is moving ahead and a pilot has to uh, increase the height so it lift up lift the collective stick uh, lifting of the collective stick increase the pitch that means increase the angle of attack which increase the as uh, this additional information how the fedex improves the flight of an helicopter so uh, increase uh, so as i say increasing collective stick increase the angle of attack which increase the drag and because of the drag the rotor rpm reduces and the helicopter will started going down and as soon as they start aircraft helicopter is going down and rpm is reducing i'll just write rpm is uh, reducing helicopter is going down um, non fedex engine will realize oh the rpm is going down then it will increase the fuel flow and which increase the rpm and the helicopter will start going in the same line or will going up Uh, this region is known as droop while in a fedex engine as soon as the pilot is giving up the collective um, engine knows that pilot has given the collective more fuel is required because drag will be increasing as because that angle of attack is increasing so more fuel during instantly the more fuel is coming and there is will be no droop region uh, during a flight so that's how fedex uh, has improved the flight there is a small example which uh, pilot does uh, feel in a non fedex and a fedex engine so here i conclude my video i hope i have made few points clear about the fedex there are many other other interesting fact about the fedex uh, you pin the comment if you have specific doubt about the fedex i'll i'll definitely try to clear that i'll sign out here thanks to watch my video please like and subscribe the video and stay tuned for the Uh, for more in interesting topic about the aviation field thank you